Welcome to Blue Water Supermap, offered exclusively by SST-Offshore.com. We're going to get into the data layers here and talk about all the different goodies that are available. All right, if you start across the top up here, you'll notice that we have tabs. We have details, satellite, weather, forecast, sea view, maps unique, waypoints, credits, and help. Let's start at the far left with the details tab. We'll click on it. You'll notice that we get this nice drop down menu. And we have three different things that we can choose from. We can choose from charts, in this case, offshore charts. We can choose from details, Latin Lounge Grid, Bathymetry Color Relief, Bathymetry Contours, and over here under Obstructions, the AWOIS Shipwreck Database. All right, let's start with the offshore charts. I'm going to turn on the charts for us. And if you notice up on the screen pops all of the offshore uh, navigation charts available from the U.S. Coast Guard. And we're going to zoom in on that layer. As you notice, they all start to come into focus now. This was put here specifically because it has all of the Loran C uh, lines on it so that you can get a general idea of what the Loran Sea lines are. And if you'll notice that this covers all the way up and down the coast for the entire area that we cover. Pretty nifty, huh? We can go up here under details and we can take and cut, cut it off and cut it on. Just like that. All right, let's move over here to the next layer. And that's going to be the latitude and longitude grid. One of the things that's really nice about this particular grid, if you notice we've got a lot of boxes here, is no matter what zoom level you're at, you'll have latitude and longitude boxes that follow. So when, as you get way, way in, you can actually use these boxes to figure out a lot about what's going on there. If you notice, we have nice big boxes here, and I'm going to take and zoom all the way in here just as tight as we can go, and you'll notice that we'll get boxes in here too. So, so they change, the size of these boxes change as we move in and move out. All right, let's move to our next, uh, our next feature. Zoom us back out here. We'll turn off the latitude and longitude grid. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the color relief. You notice that was the, the layer that was loaded when, uh, when we came into the map. We, that also can be turned on and turned off. And underneath it, here's our contours. You're really going to like this. Now, if you notice, all the contour lines are coming in. Now, the contours really differ as to, as to what your zoom level is. So the closer we zoom in, the more uh, data we get. Now, the reason we do that is because as we uh, are zoomed out, we really couldn't couldn't present all of the lines that are, are available uh, at some of the greater greater zoom levels. So so what we do is we only give you the detail as you get in closer and closer and closer. Pretty pretty neat, huh? And if you'll notice up here, I'm zoomed all the way in here. Pretty cool. All right, let me back us back up. I'm going to turn the contours off. I'm going to leave the, the color relief on. And over here is the, AW, the AWOIS Shipwreck Survey. This is a long-standing government uh, publication that started, I don't know, back in the early 1900s of government data about shipwrecks up and down the coast and if you'll notice there is just you know thousands of these things all over the place let me tell you if you're looking for a shipwreck this database really isn't worth anything okay what this database is good for is it makes for some very entertaining reading on the history of the government uh, the government's knowledge of these shipwrecks so if we go over here and we select our hand, now our hand is active, put it on top of any of these uh, icons, and we'll left click one time, and you'll notice that you'll, you'll get the history behind the shipwreck. 
Now, the reason that I told you this isn't, isn't very good uh, for hunting shipwrecks is because the pit positions that are given in them are generally way off. The, the positions just they aren't very good. Um, but it does make for a really interesting reading. Th that's why we put it put it over here in the in in the details portion of the map versus putting it in the waypoints. I didn't want to steer anybody wrong. But you can go all the way through the uh, the, the 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 coast, look at any of these that you like. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So let's go up here and we'll turn all of that off. In our next installment, we're going to be talking about the satellite data, which I know you're really excited about. So we'll see you next time on Blue Water Supermap, offered exclusively from sst-offshore.com.